the latest zombie apocalypse series, on HBO, has intrigued many viewers. In the fictional series called, The Last of Us, the fungus cordyceps mutates and infects humans, turning them to zombies that attack and infect other humans. But, is there any reality in this far-fetched scenario? Cordyceps. The fungus shown in the series is an actual fungus that infects insects and turns them into zombies. It has been widely studied in ants. The infected ant's brain is taken over by the fungus, and it starts moving upwards on a tree, and attaches itself to a branch or a leaf. Once this happens and the ant cannot move, the fungus grows out of the ant's head and body, and consumes it till it dies. The fungus now spreads its spores in the environment to infect other ants. It is so infectious that it can wipe out entire colonies. This behavior is shown by different species of cordyceps in many insect species. Can humans be infected by a fungus? The answer is yes. There are many known fungal infections in humans, like ringworm, athlete's foot, yeast infections, and many more. There are some deadly infections as well, like those caused by mucomycetes. Poorly ventilated and damp places also cause fungal infections to spread. There are some fungi known to impact the human brain and behavior. The hallucination causing magic mushrooms are a common example. Coming back to the big question, can a fungal pandemic occur? Unfortunately, the simple answer is yes. And if it happens, we are very ill-prepared to handle it. Currently there is no vaccine for any kind of fungal infection. The next question. Can cordyceps mutate and infect humans? Well, that is, extremely unlikely. The DNA of fungi is much more complex than viruses, and it cannot mutate as easily. Even if it does, it's next to impossible to jump to humans and cause an infection similar to those in insects, turning humans into zombies. Humans have a much higher body temperature and a very complex immune system to fight the infection. What if it is able to infect humans in some manner? Will the infection spread? Yes, in that highly improbable scenario, the infection can spread but not by biting like zombies. It is much more likely to spread through touch, or by inhaling the fungal spores in the air.